Hello, everyone. I wanted to talk for a short while about my son, Michael. He is being accused of providing patients with poor treatment. Essentially, as most of you know, he and I feel we can get the jaws, both of them, to grow forward, and sometimes as much as 20 or even 30 millimetres. This is enough to stop all malocclusion and also to create a nice-looking face. At the same time, it um, almost eliminates the chance of your getting jaw joint problems. It um, can help with tendency to ear, nose and throat problems, um, lack difficulty in breathing, but also it can prevent sleep apnea, which is a condition where people find it difficult to breathe at night. Now, a very high proportion of the population snore, and if you do, you are very likely in your later years to suffer from sleep apnea, and the statistics suggest that it can shorten your life by 10 years or even more. Now, the basis of the accusation is basically that um, Michael and I before him said we can make faces grow forward. Now, orthodontists do not believe that. They've never really studied what we do, but they know, if I can include that word in inverted commas, they know that it is not possible to get forward growth of more than two or three millimetres. Therefore, they know, again, in inverted commas, that we are lying. They accused me of deliberate dishonesty because they said you are telling patients that you can achieve forward growth when we know that is impossible. Therefore, they removed my license to practice. I was 85 years old at the time, and it did not really affect me financially, but it caused me great distress to be accused of a dishonest act. And it, as a result, many orthodontic um, clubs and institutions threw me out of their membership because they said, you're dishonest, we don't want you. Now, that is a terrible thing to someone such as myself, who has spent a lifetime trying my hardest to help my patients. But I now feel very sad because they are doing just the same to my son. His crime is that he believed in me. He believes, and I know, can create forward growth. But orthodontists are certain he's lying. Um, they are trying to remove his license because they say he is doing unsafe practice. Basically, he's trying to make the face grow forward Orthodontists do not know how to do that without damaging it, therefore they are assuming he is damaging the face too. The problem is that most of the rest of the general dental profession believe the orthodontists when they say it's not possible to get forward growth. Therefore, um, the defense society who are arranging for his um, defense against the accusations were very half-hearted in their help. He has had to employ private barristers at huge cost. To meet this, he has had to sell his home. He now rents a home for his family. And if he loses his case, he will be bankrupt. He will have nothing. And his crime? Believing me, you can imagine how upset this makes me. It brings me close to tears. He is my son. I have given him everything I can. And the dental profession are ruining him. He used to be a cheerful, bubbly chap. Now he is quiet. 
he really doesn't enjoy his practice and he's not taking on any more patients. Yet he's in the prime of his career and should be <coughs> receiving praise from around the world for having created and practiced a treatment that at the moment no orthodontist can achieve. I can only ask you to support us in whatever way you can. Thank you.